We're currently in 3,000 feet of water off the coast of Costa Rica. And for this food chain challenge, we're gonna start off catching squid using this thing right here. This is called a squid jig. Right now, the squid, when the sun's up, is down, they're down on the bottom, it's 3,000 feet. At night, they come up to the surface, we have lights on the boat, we're gonna beam them straight down, squid come up in the lights, and we'll throw these squid jigs down there and catch them. Before we drop this jig in the water, we wanna charge it up. So it glows in the dark. That's what attracts the squid. They wanna see this thing glowing in the dark. I'm just dropping my line down deep, you know, a couple hundred feet, and we're gonna jig it. First drop down, we got one. Here we go, here we go. <gasps> oh, we got a squid. Yes. There it is, guys. The squid, he, look at, he's shooting ink at you. That's our bait for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning when the banana come up, because the banana, they're not gonna feed right now. They're gonna feed tomorrow morning. And hopefully, guys, here's the big surprise. Oh my gosh, that was a big surprise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, here's the big surprise. We're gonna use the bonita for bait to catch blue marlin. This flying fish, guys, we got, we got flying fish coming to the light. I'm gonna scoop one up. That's the best bait ever. Come to the light, come to the light. Come on, come on, keep swimming, keep swimming. I'm gonna fling you in this boat. You've never seen something like this before. Come on, keep going. Come on, come on. Oh, he's in the boat. He's right here. Oh, he's right here. No, he's escaped. Oh my gosh, dude, he's right, he's in the boat, he's in the boat, what is he doing? Ah! Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. Where'd he go? He's still jumping, he's hopping around like a frog. Oh, I got him, oh, I got him, yes! Oh, <laughs> oh, we got a flying fish, look, in the nuts. Here, put him right here, there he is. <laughs> in the light well he goes. Oh my gosh. That right there is gonna, that's gonna get eaten for sure. Got him. Flying fish, baby. Woo Look at that, guys. Baby flying fish. Guaranteed to catch a bonita in the wall. See you, buddy. No, 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 no. It's like purple. I got him. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's right there. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? I feel light. I got him. Woo! <laughs> Our original goal was to catch squid. Okay, we got two of those, right? But the flying fish have totally thrown me off here. I'll be honest, it's gonna be a toss up. We're gonna try squid and flying fish. We're gonna see which one catches the next bait. We gotta catch a bonita for a blue marlin. Phase two coming up tomorrow morning. It's early morning. Our flying fish unfortunately did all die in the live well. They need a lot more water. They're an open water fish, so. But they're still good dead. Here's one right here. We're gonna put him out on the rod. There's a bunch of tuna and bonita jumping all around us, so it shouldn't take long for this to get bit. We're gonna try him and the squid. We'll see which one catches the bait first. There they are behind the boat. They're dropping, they're dropping. I they saw one jump. Oh, is that a bite? Blow up. There it is. He ate it. Fish on. Good size fish, too. Jeez. Yeah. Got him? All right, marlin bait. Yellowfin tuna caught on a flying fish. There's a lot of them out there. Look at those big pectoral fins. And uh, honestly though, this one's a little big for bait, so we're gonna let him go. We're gonna keep trying to get a smaller fish, preferably a little bonita. See you, buddy. There we go. You know what's crazy, guys? Out here, there are so many yellowfin tuna. Like you go to like, you know, Florida or Louisiana or Texas, wherever, and, and you catch them like that, you're like, oh, it's a good day, you know? You catch catching yellowfin tuna. Oh, got a bite. There we go, fish on. He's smoking me. Still going. Oh, yeah. Another yellowfin tuna. Out here, there's billions of these things. Billions. But, you know, back home, you catch these, and you're like, it's a good day. Oh, all right, buddy, okay. Let you go. Yeah. All right, next bait out. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, there we go, fish on. Here we go, guys. Phase two, start with the flying fish. Who we got? Come on now. Oh, we got a bonita. Woo! On the flying fish, guys. That's our marlin bait right there. We're gonna bridle him up. When we get our teasers out, we're gonna skip him across the surface and Marlin's just gonna absolutely swallow him. Phase one of the food chain fishing challenge was to catch flying fish. Actually, we started off catching squid, 
and then we caught flying fish. I was like, you know what? These flying fish are cooler in the squid, so we need to flying fish. Now, phase two, we just completed it. We got a bonita on a flying fish. We gotta catch a bunch more bonita before we start mom fishing though. We got a couple bonita in the bucket. We need to get about a dozen or two dozen bonita. Then we're gonna start marlin fishing. We're gonna put teasers out. And when the marlin come up, you'll see them. They'll be swiping their bills. We're gonna pitch the bonita back at the marlin. Hopefully, he eats it. Carlos is gonna show us how they bridle bait in Costa Rica. He's got a special technique. Through the bottom jaw, up to the top. He's got a single piece of wax thread. He's gonna tie a knot, all right? Tries another knot. It's a half hitch. All right, done. So you're making a knot. Okay. Knot, you put this in here. Okay. And then you close it on the hook. Perfect. So then you like just like this again. You know, this is the first time I've seen this technique for bottling. And then he splits it like this. Or not. So we got a hook, a piece of wax thread, so the hook's fully exposed, and then he closed the gills. So when we skip it, the gills don't open up and, and grab water. Oh, fish, 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 right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, he got it, he got it, he got it. Marlin on, baby. Woo! He's going, he's going, he's ripping. Woo! Smoking line. Oh! Oh my gosh, he's going crazy. There he goes, there he goes. Woo! He's going nuts. Woo! He's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping, he's way over there. There goes the bonita. Ah! Slow down on the backing up, slow down, hold on. I'm just trying to get tight. He's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping. He's jumping. There he goes. Woo! He's jumping, he's jumping. Woo! Still going. Unreal. No, I'm good, yeah? Oh, yeah. Good. Going down. He is going deep. That's the key that people don't realize. You know, you gotta relax. It's a zen game. You yeah. Let him do his thing. Hey, when he's running, there's nothing he can do. You can't beat these big fish by out muscling. No. Short, fast pumps is the secret. He's done this before. I see the fish. Leader, leader. Get ready, grab the leader, grab the leader, grab the leader. All right, pull him in, I'm gonna jump in with him, right? We're back here in our studio. We normally film these outside, but due to coronavirus, we can't do that. So we're here and let me tell you guys, the food chain challenge part three was a huge success. I was really optimistic about using the squid, but once we saw those flying fish, that was it. I mean, flying fish are so cool. The fact that we were netting them at night, and then we got to use them for bait to catch tuna and bonita, and then catch a blue marlin, that's a dream come true. If you guys want to catch blue marlin, there's no one better than Thumper Blue Water Expeditions, Harry and Captain Tommy. Tommy's one of the most knowledgeable people I've ever met about blue marlin. This guy was just, he's literally a living legend, and it was just an honor to fish with him. If you guys want to catch blue marlin, if it's on your bucket list to catch blue marlin, hit up Thumper Blue Water Expeditions. Their link is in the description. These guys are the best of the best in Costa Rica. Check them out. And also guys, want to make some huge announcements about our gear. We got new shirts. I'm wearing one right now. We got rods coming out. We got neck scarves, some of these right here. See these guys right here. You know, if you, if you, want, if you need a face mask for sun protection and just being outside, this is what you need right here. Those links are in the description. We got our hats, and like I said, we have our new fishing rods coming out soon. Those will probably be live by the time this video goes out, so check that out, blacktiph.com, or click the link in the description, guys. If you wanna follow all the updates on our new products, follow Blacktiph Brand on Instagram. That has all our new products listed there. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.